Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? In today's video, we have an exciting new release by Her Mess Beauty. They added three blush shades in a new silky formula. It is their silky iridescent formula. I picked up one of the shades, so I'm going to be demoing this guy. I'm going to compare it to the other formula, so we'll do a little half and half with the other formulation, and we'll just chat a little luxury Her Mess. If you love a luxury beauty or just a beauty in general do not forget to click down there where it says subscribe and also come over to my instagram and a tiktok for more beauty content and without further ado let's begin all right friends so let's get started and as mentioned we're gonna talk all about her mess 2023 collection they added three iridescent silky blushes these are the shades that they added to their summer collection and they also went ahead and add one of their lip balms uh this is a different kind of finish according to what i was able to find i saw them briefly at whole renfrew and that's where i got mine from but they disappeared i'm gonna leave links below for other retailers you know they're gonna start popping up really soon um but these are the three colors that they when i saw those pictures i was a little bit underwhelmed i'm not gonna lie because they look very very light so i was so scared to pick up one of them and that's what i did i just ended up with only one because i didn't want to make a mistake i couldn't go into store to take a look so i ended up with the darkest shade of the three that for whatever i could tell from that picture so i i got the shade rose curve and this is what it looks like at the back of the box it says silky iridescent powder and that's not what we're used to with their blushes they give you a little bit of a healthy sheen but not really iridescent and I was able to swatch these in natural lighting and take a look at this swatch. These are the three shades that I have and you could totally see how this one is actually iridescent but in the most beautiful way. It has a really beautiful and silky formula just like the other blushes from Hermes. I am a big fan. I'm a big fan of these blushes. I've, I've mentioned that time and time again. Anyhow, this is the cardboard packaging um, when you open this guy. Up, you always get, you get this little box and then inside is gonna be your blush exact packaging everything stays the same and this is the beautiful shade i am so so happy you guys that this is not similar to my existent shades i only have a two in my collection but um these are very very pricey so i want to make sure that the ones that i do own are shades that i go for time and time again and um i'm going to show you in this lighting because i already able to show you natural lighting what my two other ones look like so this is rose apricot apricot shade and then this is pomade so we have a peachy blush we have a little bit of a pinky shade and now we are adding this to my collection which is a little bit of um um i don't know like copper or pink you could say so it's actually very unique it's very different so today i thought i could show you because these two look the closest um when you look at them in person so today i want to show you what these will look like on one side so you could take a look at the finish and then i'll show you the new iridescent finish on the other side let's begin with some bronzer i newly reviewed this beautiful bronzer this was added uh, not too long ago i have the shade sahara and this compact is absolutely gorgeous. I love the shade that I they picked up. It's number three. I believe there is five or six in the range. And depending on the brush that you use with these bronzer and the blush itself you're able to build up the product as you need to the brush that i just used the sonia soft chick it gives you a very light application so i like to do that and then just on the hollows of my cheek i go ahead with a more densely packed brush like this one by refer and i'm able to build that shade up not that i needed to 
but sometimes I just want to be a little bit more sculpted and so that's what I do this is brush a 37 so for my application I'm gonna use BK 507 this is a very highly packed brush that I love to use with blushes that are a little bit lighter in tone blushes that i want to build up blushes that not necessarily show up right away on my complexion that's um the brush that i'm always reaching for and yeah let's start off with rose apricot so you can take a look at this shade the brush picks up quite a bit as you can see let me bring it a little closer with a second layer and you can see that it does show up in the most natural and beautiful way I really really love the shade it looks very natural on my complexion and it's truly a healthy natural finish like it's not gonna give you a lot of shimmer or anything like that but I do feel like my cheek just looks healthy like a healthy sheen you could say so that's that shade on this side now I have a dry cloth right here that I'm going to be using to clean up the brush because I only have one of them so I don't have a second clean one to use but I do want to use the same exact brush you can see that it picks up a lot and it's a little bit more rosy coppery totally different as that peach shade oh very very iridescent and i don't need to do any building up with this shade at all friends I did went ahead and applied a little bit of my Charlotte setting spray because I did want I, I wanted this powder to really melt down on my skin and for you to be able to see this glow just in case you're a fan or maybe you're not um, I applied it equally on both sides of my cheeks and you're gonna be able to see that there isn't a much on this side but look at the glow on this side and I love a good glowy blush. That's like my thing. I, I am loving this shade. I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I don't have to build it up. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to use less product of a very pricey blush. Uh, but also though, the sheen is very pretty. It doesn't have any glitter whatsoever. So please, 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 please don't be scared because it really doesn't. It's just such a silky formula but such a fine such a fine um uh just such a fine glow that's what i'm trying to see and did you see how effortless um this swatch was so it was a very very silky it actually reminded me of this Valentino blush. I I'm not planning to do any comparisons in this video, but we must just, just this shade, shade four, because I thought, okay, you know, they, that's the vibe that they give you. So if you love that Valentino finish, this is shade four. They're not really far from each other, you know? The Hermes is just a little bit more um, copper, and Hermes, I mean Valentino in shade 4, is just a little bit more on the pink side. So now since I have this shade, which is Rose 10, this was released a few collections back, I wanted to apply it. The one that they released this time around, I believe is Confetti. It is quite bright and pink. I couldn't get my hands on it because it was sold out. So I thought, you know what, let me show you what these of like what it looks like on me um this is extremely beautiful the packaging is it is so so luxurious i love i love this compact is such a treat every time i wear these little balm i just feel like yeah i just feel like it's such a treat so let me show you what rose 10 looks like on And 
this is such a silky and beautiful formula. It's a matte finish lip balm, uh, but it really fills in the lines on your lips. It like softens everything out and um, it is very hydrating. It has a little bit of a floral scent, just like the blushes I forgot to mention. They all have this floral Hermes scent, which is beautiful. I'm not bothered by it at all. It's actually stunning. And it's not one that is gonna linger for a while. All right, friends, so this is it. This is their older formulation, and this is their newer formulation. Um, I don't feel like I need to even anything out, but I do want to apply a little highlighter. Um, this is in the shade Permabras, which is also one beautiful highlighter from their house. I, I do feel very glowy on my right side. So I, I, yeah, this side needs a little bit of something. So let's even it out. So we are all evened out and everything is looking glowy and beautiful. This side is quite glowy. So of course, if you are into an iridescent, beautiful, glowy look, you must you must try this formula. Um, the other two shades I'm very intrigued to see because I love, I love, I love a glowy blush. So I'm very interested to actually get into store and looking at them. If I find swatches, I'll make sure to insert them. I'm going to contact my whole Renford SA to see if they have the displays and maybe walk into store. I'll keep you both set up update you or I'll post another video or a short later on. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful shade. I'm so glad that I went with the deepest because I didn't want to risk it. This is beautiful. Such a copper pink, beautiful shade. Very, very wearable. Um, again, it doesn't have any glitter whatsoever. So don't be, like, don't be worried. And it looks very glowy because of course everything is shining on my face and plus I, uh, uh, you know, I applied the setting spray and plus I applied the highlighter. Um, I know I'm looking very, very glowy, which I love. I'm not complaining, like look at the glow. <laughs> I love it. Anyhow, friends, it is absolutely stunning. I love these are my blushes. What's new about that? Um, let me know in the comments, what do you think of these blushes? I know they're a little controversial. Some people don't like that they're too pricey. I mean, who wants to pay more for a product? But what do you think of the packaging? Some people complain about the packaging that is not very luxurious because it's very, very lightweight. I don't mind that, to be honest. I feel like it is absolutely gorgeous. So let me know in the comments, thoughts, anything at all. Just drop it below, friends. Thanks so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll catch you on next time. Bye-bye.